If you currently own a dome siren, then you're gonna love the latest device handler update. The new handler gives you access to multiple chimes and alarms, which were once available in the old SmartThings Classic app. If you don't own a dome siren, then you really should. This device is much more than a simple security alarm. This revised device handler for the Dome Siren was written by Kevin LaFrambeau. Kevin is a dedicated contributor on the SmartThings community platform. Kevin's device handler provides six alarm sounds and comes with multiple chimes, melodies, and beeps, 10 selections in total. It is also equipped with three volume levels for each selected alarm, chime, or melody. It's equipped with an ability to customize the duration of your alarm anywhere from three seconds to an unlimited length. The multiple sounds can be added to various automations to provide you with a means to distinguish between water leaks, CO and smoke alerts, and security breaches. The settings give you the ability to repeat chimes. There is also an option to control whether the LED light turns on or remains off during chime activation. Finally, the handler is equipped with a battery level indicator. Be sure to keep watching to the end of today's video and I'll show you how to create an easy automation to activate a door chime anytime one of your sensor equipped exterior doors is opened. If you have a dome siren currently installed, it'll be necessary for you to remove the device. It will also be necessary for you to use the Z-Wave exclusion utility to fully remove the device from your SmartThings app. I'll show you the steps how to get this accomplished. A word of caution here, with the removal of the dome siren, you'll need to add the device back into the SmartThings home monitor and any automation that you created using the device. You will also need to add it back into any third-party apps such as Sharp Tools. Now once I explain how to remove the device, I'll then take you through the steps to install Kevin's GitHub code for the new device handler. Finally, I'll show you the steps to add the device back into the SmartThings app as a new device. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the dome siren and then we're going to exclude that device using the Z-Wave utility. To remove the device, first long press the tile for the dome siren then tap on edit and you see at the bottom the option to delete the device go ahead and delete the device I'm going to cancel out of that next what you want to do is click on the home icon at the top of the screen scroll all the way down till you see all devices click on all devices you want to look in this list for your home hub there's my Bud's Home Hub. Once you find it, you're going to click on that. What this is going to do is give us access to the Z-Wave Utilities. And you'll see at the top, there is an ellipsis, the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Click on those. And then you'll see the in the list of options, the Z-Wave Utilities. Click on that. All right. And the one we're gonna use is the Z-Wave exclusion. But before we can exclude the device, we need to have the device next to us, preferably uh, in close proximity to your hub so that it can be detected. Uh, what you'll do is turn the hub over to the reverse side and you'll see right next to the battery compartment, there's a raise button. You'll need to tap that button three times to exclude the device. Once you tap the button three times, you should see the dome siren flash three or four times. When it flashes, that acknowledges it, it's in exclusion mode. Then you can tap on the Z-Wave exclusion utility. And you'll see it processing and eventually it'll find the device and it'll confirm that it's excluded. Since mine is not in exclusion mode, it will not find it. So at this point, I need you to log in to the SmartThings account to add the GitHub code. Okay, so here I am into my SmartThings account. You wanna make sure you're on the My Device Handlers tab. And once you're signed in here, you're ready to go ahead and get Kevin's GitHub code. If you look below in the description, you'll find a link and that link will take you to this site right here. So here you see Kevin's code listed. And first thing you wanna do is click on raw. 
Okay, and next thing you want to do is hit your control key, hold that down, and hit the A key. That'll select all the text. Then you can right click and copy. All right, with that code copy, let's go back to the My Device Handlers tab. And what you want to do here is click on Create a New Device Handler. All right. Next, you'll click on the tab that says From Code. And then in this white space here, you're going to right click and hit Paste. Once you've done that, then you can hit the Create button. I'm not going to create this. I'm just going to back out because I already have this set up. So I'm going to go back to the Device Handlers tab. That'll take you back to the Device Handlers tab. What you'll see is that there will be no GitHub repository assigned. So you want to look at this column that says namespace name, and you want to click on the dome siren here. That link will take you to the installed code. You want to next click on device type settings. And in here, what we're going to do is assign the GitHub repository uh, for Kevin's code. All right, where you see GitHub repository, you'll click on this drop down list and you'll select Smart Things Master from the list and hit update. That should assign the GitHub repository. The reason that's important, if Kevin makes changes to the code, it'll be connected to the repository and then you'll be able to update it from there. So we'll go back into My Device Handlers and confirm, you should confirm that there is a repository assigned, that it says published, and uh, it has all the capabilities listed here as well. All right, with that, we can go back to the SmartThings app and reinstall the Dome Siren. Okay, we're back in the SmartThings app on the Favorites tab. You wanna go to the next tab over to the right, that's the Devices tab. And then to add the Dome Siren back in, you're gonna click on the plus button at the top of the page. And then you'll click on the add device. All right, and with the Dome Siren right next to you, you again, you wanna flip it over to the back side and tap that button three times real quickly. And you'll see it flashing. And then you want to just simply tap on scan nearby at the bottom and it'll start scanning for your device and should find it rather quickly. Okay, with your Dome Siren installed, if you click on it, I will show you my preferred settings for it. I've got Alarm 4 for the alarm sound. I've set that volume to high. I have the siren length set for five minutes. On the, the door chimes, I've selected chime number four and I've selected medium volume. I have my chime LED on, and I repeat the chime just one time. So that's my settings for that. Let me go ahead and show you that automation I was talking about. So I'm gonna go into my Automations tab, and I'm gonna scroll down until I find that automation. Here it's called Chime When Any Door Opens. So I'll click on that. So I have three doors, three exterior doors, that are equipped with multi-purpose sensors or open close sensors if you will so I've selected those three from the list of uh, devices and I've selected the option when any of the condition below is met so meaning that if any door is open then I want the resulting actions to happen and as as for the options I've selected chime 4 like I stated previously I've selected medium for the chime volume. I have the LED light on. I have the repeat not set, so I just want it to ring one time. As far as the chime, I selected chime in the list. And of course, I'm not using the siren, so the rest of this is not applicable. You can choose to delay when the chime goes. I'm not going to do that. I want it to chime as soon as the door opens. So we'll go ahead and save that. 
Uh, you, of course, want to assign a name to the uh, automation and then click Done. And that's all there is to setting up that door chime automation. If you would like to show Kevin some appreciation for this fine device handler, you may make a contribution to his PayPal account by clicking on the link in the description below this video. I will also leave a link for the Dome Siren. Be sure to tap on my Amazon store link below to find a complete list of other SmartThings compatible devices. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. Until next time, keep automating and God bless.